Oh, hi everybody. Um, this is my best attempt of describing a little bit of Victorian engineering to do with the cotton industry. And there it is. Uh, it looks pretty much like a standard uh, balance, but it isn't. It's, um, it was developed by a guy called Thomas Knowles around about 1890, but this particular one was developed and manufactured by Walter Goodbrand around about 1927. And I'll just show you the description. As the description says, it's an old paint and yarn balance by Goodbrand Soulmakers, Victoria Street, Manchester. And I think that date at the end is the 1227. Right, the thing about this is that um, it is rather more than a standard balance because number one, it has about a few more than one range. It has the first range A and then B and then C, D, E and F. Um, progressively getting larger and larger and those are the ranges right how do we use these right now the way we use those is that we have two weights on this device and not one like a normal balance and I'm just going to show you the weights now a few of them are missing because it's over 100 years old um, so we start with the A range we have an A1 and an A1 rider weight now the rider weight is the small one at the bottom um, the top one, which is the main weight, goes into the pan on the left hand side, which you can see. The rider weight actually rides on this strip of metal down here, which goes from one end of the scale right to the other and actually indicates the value which is correct for what you're particularly kind of measuring, which is pounds, uh, number of hanks per pound of cotton fibre. Right, depending on the range, uh, we have a number of different weights. We go from B, B1, B4, C1, C4, D, etc. All the way down to the F ranges. Uh, some of the most of the riders are missing on the F ranges and uh, certainly have no riders for the E ranges. Now, it's possible we could calculate these values and create new ones. It looks as though that's happened a few times before looking at the different colours of riders. And obviously, these get lost quite easily. So, like I said, the idea is to measure um, cotton. Now, cotton comes in um, particular uh, styles. Now, the main one is the hank, and the hank is 840 yards of yarn, which is twisted cotton. Uh, this is divided down by seven, and, um, and this produces what we call a lee, which is 120 yards of cotton. So if we wanted to know how many hanks of yarn uh, for per pound, we have to select um, the correct weights. So for this example, we have some cotton, but, um, which is not quite a lead, but it nearly makes the difference. So what we do with this, we place this on the left hand side of the weight. As you can see, the balance has gone out of balance. So we have to select now the first primary weight which would be suitable for that piece of cotton so we'll start with the A range so we'll put the A weight onto the A onto the pan make sure we have the A range selected now we have to take the rider which is the small weight and we place that onto the, the bar at the top so hopefully now we should be able to make a balance and read off how many hanks of this cotton is in a pound. So let's go. So we'll slide the weight along until we get some sort of balance. So here we go. We'll just keep moving it. Oh, we're getting somewhere in here now. So I can see even after a few many years it's still very, very sensitive. But it's not quite right, so we'll move it a little bit further. Okay, there we go. So, looking at the weight now, it's not really very far off. In fact, we're just a little bit more, we should get it right. There we go. So, there we go. A little bit fast, so we'll move it back a bit. And you can see the A rider now is now pointing at 34. 
So that gives us a value of 34 hanks per pound for that size of cotton. I'll go into more detail this later. Okay, bye for now.